Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Blog Center, the home of Ninja Boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now and also go to the notification bell icon. Click it and select all. So anytime I drop a new banger, a new exclusivity will definitely be notified. And of course, to my Nigerian sisters and brothers out there, please, 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 please. Now God, I take beguna. Make una like this video, share them, subscribe because the more you like the video, the more you share and the more you subscribe, the more new audience they find the channel, the more we they grow, and the more they bring una bombastic. Uh, content as usual. Now let's get straight to it. Akim Dawudu, a Canadian, Nigerian, Jamaican um, fighter. I watched his last fight um, this past weekend against Zubaira Tuhugov. Tuhugov, I pronounced the name right. I was impressed. He came out with a Nigerian flag. I never ever knew the guy's Nigerian, by the way, you know. But I was impressed with his skill set. I was impressed with his ability to move, ability to move forward and backward and, and fight sideways. You know, the guy has got it all. You know, no wonder the guy had about, you know, 42 wins, okay, as an amateur in Muay Thai. 42 wins, 15 knockout, and only 5 losses. That is definitely something impress impressive in my opinion. Now, Akim Dawudu was born to a Nigerian mother, a Jamaican father, a father, and of course born in, uh, in uh, Canada. Okay. In Kagari, Alberta, Alberta. I don't know how you pronounce that. When it came out with an Nigerian flag, that caught my attention because I wasn't expecting it. Is someone told me that you know he's Canadian, so I I was just like okay, that name that would do sound Nigerian away. I was like oh, okay, well, anyway. Then when it came out with an Nigerian flag, I was so so proud of this guy. You know, he wanted to come out with three flags, the Jamaican one, Canadian, Canadian one, and Nigerian one. But only one, or they only allow one, they only allow, one, they only allow you to bring one flag into the octagon. And he chose the Nigerian one. He grew up with his Nigerian mother. And uh, as, a, as, a, as a child, he was very, very stubborn. He had to learn the hard way, so... His nickname be mean is a revelation of his past, of his future, of the present and of the future as well. Because this guy is a monster. Nigeria, we are proud of this guy. You know, one what he has to do is that he has to like try acquire an Nigerian passport. I think he can. You know, Joshua has an Nigerian passport. And of course, Nigeria had it. I think Dawudu deserve our love. And after watching that fight, bro, Nigerians are dominating, bro. I can't lie to you. If imagine looking at Dawudu right now, 29 years old, still very young and fresh. The way he was beating up Zubaira, the way he was beating the guy up, the, the way Zubaira was just running around the ring like as if he stole something from Dawudu. <laughs> Daudu was chasing this guy around the ring like, come on, come on, fight. The guy said, no, I know, I know, I know me, you, I know me, are you. Zubaira, who is from a region, a region of strong men. A region where, where, uh, where Khabib is from. Those regions, that, that, that place, those, 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 those people from that, that region, are hard, hard, hard men. But yet, that guy Zubaira was scared of, you know, that would do. That would do only has one loss as a, you know, as a, in, in, as a prisoner. He has one loss to Danny, Danny Henry, who defeated him on March 17th. 
you know, t- 2018 at UFC Fight Night 127. And he lost, of course, via submission in a fight's opening minute. Listen, that would is a, tra- a trade. And ever since he lost to Danny Henry, he's been winning. He beat Austin Arnett. He beat Kyla Boniak. Yoshiori Hori. Yulio Ak- Akri. Or Hakes. Zubaira Tugmugov. He's been beating these guys' asses. And I'm proud of our brother. Akim Dawudu. Remember the name. Akim Dawudu. Who is this guy? He's the nest of future featherweight king in the UFC. Mark my word. So shout out to everybody that support this guy. Nigerians, I saw you. A lot of you guys are proud of him. And I'm proud as well. A lot of Nigerians in Canada. We're proud of him. I'm just proud to see the guy, you know, because looking at how what what he's been through as a youngster, you know, to accompany something like this is, is impressive. We must support our Nigerian fathers worldwide. I don't care whether your father is from. Listen, as long as one of your parents is a Nigerian, you're Nigerian. That's it. Doesn't matter if your mom is Nigerian, your dad is Nigerian. As long as one of them is Nigerian, you're Nigerian. Even if it's your grandfather, that blood. Even though, even if you trace, even if you you are Nigerian through DNA like Deontay Water, you're Nigerian. And I like the guy's mentality. I like the guy's uh, fighting style. He's a beast. He's a monster. And he's a future UFC champ. Know that about that. Stay blessed, guys.